I think it's clear today that it is the Conservative and Reformist group in the European Parliament that is setting the agenda. Not only are we now the third largest group, but certainly in this presidential election campaign, it was us that took the people's voice to the heart of the debate. And it was the EPP, the Socialists and the ALDI group, the status quo, the traditionalists who had to come and take hold uh, of the whole process in order to keep the reformist voice out, to keep the people of Europe out from this debate. But we succeeded. We held firm as a group and we gained support elsewhere. We are going from a position of strength to much greater strength every day as we step forward. For I believe that the President of Parliament should not use his office to express personal opinions or to promote his personal interests or to advance his personal career. No, I have a more noble vision for Office of President of our House. The President should reflect the diversity of this House, as this House reflects the diversity of the peoples of Europe. The people of Europe have sent a very clear message to us that things cannot carry on as they are. Unfortunately, the very first thing this Parliament has done is to reject the people of Europe's voice and say to them, despite what you say, despite what you want, we are simply going to carry on the way we have always been and you simply are going to have more of what you have always had. I do not want to play politics. I want to enhance the reputation of our shared institution. I do not want to look after my interests, I want to look after yours. I do not want to return to the politics of backroom deals of years gone by. I want to reach out to all those Europeans who look to our institution with hope for the future. This is my dream for the European Parliament, but such dreams will not become reality if we allow the better angels of our nature to be defeated by political calculation or personal ambition. When you are about to cast your ballot this morning and stand alone with your beliefs and conscience in making your democratic choice, do you vote for the backroom deal or do you vote for a Europe of openness, transparency, democracy and hope? I humbly ask for your support for my vision as a presidency worthy of this House and worthy of the peoples of Europe. Thank you.